This week we got Crack Machines, Earweb, and Uber Escape. Uber. Take it away, Tiff. <laughs> Take it away, Tiffany. All right, so. Take it away, Tiffany. For our first story, there have been these crack pipe vending machines in Used Switzerland. Used or brand Holland. new? In Norway, nope. Crack pipe vending machine. Are they used or brand new? Brand new, I guess. They gotta be brand new. Are they underground? That's good, that's good. No, they're they're just like, they're cemented in the city property. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's gotta be like one of those countries in the Netherlands. Yeah, that's why I keep, call, yeah. <laughs> keep listing all of those. Stockholm. Nope. nope. Really? This Germany? takes place in the state of New York. <gasps> Whoa! That is revolutionary. Wow. I haven't seen that in a while. Is it to help the homeless uh, get access to disease-free crack pipes? The crack government pipes. didn't do this. Someone popped these oh, all shit. These, like, oh, vending machines. It's an art installation. No, so uh, these vending machines that I'm gonna show you a video of, it says pens, and you can buy it for $2, but once you open up the pen, there's a screen in there, and you just take out the ink, and then they use it for crack pipes. Oh there no, go. so this is all bad. There you go. <laughs> Sporting a simple design, these blue vending machines were cemented into the ground in at least three locations in Suffolk, and claimed to advertise pens. <laughs> just in case y'all need pens. <laughs> Got would-be customers a whole lot more. Why do you need four padlocks? Take the pen apart. This is what well, because there's probably a lot of money in there. Find the glass tube which is used as the pipe, the screen, which would separate the drugs from the pipe. They would light it and smoke the other end of it. Oh, no. How'd the glass not break in there? I wish he used actual yeah. crack to demonstrate. <laughs> Put the crack in. <laughs> they used the pipe to oh. demonstrate. They smoked the crack like that. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He would relax. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's crazy. No further questions. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know where crack pipes come from but um, they come from a lot of liquor stores where you see those like roses in the glass thing. Oh. And it's like, yeah. Is that right? There's a lot of like tricks that people use to sell these things. Like, oh. it, yeah, like a, like a pen or That's whatever. So interesting. Yeah. Or you go straight up to a tobacco shop and then they'll have crack pipes there. If Wait, you, so it, they don't use they actual? Tobacco water pipes. Yeah, that's what Joe. They, they say, <laughs> yeah. So if I, if I get a tobacco water pipe if, and, and I use it once, can I not use the same one? Is there a need to get new ones? I think when the pipe gets cracked or like it breaks because oh, okay. it's glass, they just need another one. I see. Yeah. So they don't use the pens, like an actual pen? No, they don't use that. They're like either. iPhones. They have a certain yeah. amount of time that you can use them before they I like to think there's one kid out there like, oh yeah, you just got another pen. There's a, yeah, because I'm like. I've never seen the pen one. That's pretty clever. But I, I've seen like, um, you know, like you'll have like a fake rose and then yeah. there's like a glass holder. Yeah. yeah, they'll use that. Huh. Um, yeah, that's, that's the most common one. And then some oh, come with this. So they can't, so because know. the plastic would burn. Right? It has to be glass. Yeah, I mean, just the same with weed, too. It has to be glass. You can't have a plastic pipe. People will smoke out of anything. Really? And apple, apples. Yeah. Well, apple works, but with but not plastic or wood. Yeah. Is it, is it good? Foil? Is it apple good? No, I think flammable. I've used foil yeah. as a kid. Yeah. Foil. Yeah, foil works, too. A, a can? When you were like 14 or 15, yeah, I used Coke cans, apples. Was the apples good? Did it make it taste good? Not really. I mean, it's just, just the juicy part on your lips. Oh, okay. Where you're just trying to, like, Sucking as much weed air as possible. Trying to get fucking high, baby. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, but the way that they smoke crack out of foil is like they usually have a piece of foil like this and put the crack on top, and then they get like a straw and they like suck it, oh. suck the fumes up. Ooh, that's pretty crazy. I can't believe that someone decided to just put it there like a newsstand. Yeah, and what's the play, right? It's like okay, so you you're providing these to get quarters, right? To get money. It might yeah, be drug yeah, dealers so, that are making double the money. So why don't they just put a camera on whoever checks the padlocks? True. Yeah, how did they not get the guy? Yeah, they ended up just taking them down. There were three vending machines. Oh, they're saying that this is a crime. They don't like this. So they want to take these vending machines away? Of course. Of course. Yeah. I oh, I thought, the I thought the cops were promoting it. What? Check it out. There's this, yeah, I really. The way that he demonstrated that shit, like he was like, like he was showing everyone like, okay, that you guys are bad kids. Here's why you're bad kids. <laughs> he thought that that was a. I, I thought it was really like, hey, if you guys are gonna do this shit anyways, this is how you do it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> We've read 
heard stories like that before. Yeah, that's we've why. heard stories that's like that true. before. That's so it's it's kind of like having a condom vending machine, right? So it's like if you're gonna fuck anyway, do safe sex. Yeah, like some places in like Norway or whatever, where they pass yeah. out like clean needles. They're like, well, fuck. That God, makes God. sense. I know you guys want to shoot shoot up, so yeah, don't get AIDS. Well, then they would have legal prostitution here. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Cause yeah. yeah. That 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 makes sense. If if, if there was a clean needle uh, vending machine, then it's like promoting. You know, safe usage of syringe, but when we have kids, we're gonna let them have sex in the house because then they're, they're safely having sex in the house. It's way better that way. Like, um, we used to better, drink at my better. friend's house, and her mom was chill with it because she'd rather have us drinking somewhere safe than like trying to hide and drive somewhere, yep. like come drive back home drunk or yeah, something. Yeah, that was my mom's policy too. But what if your friend overdoses in your house? Or, or your kid's friends overdoses in your yeah, house. Yeah, you throw his body in the car and then you take him to a field somewhere and throw him in the field. You mean alcohol? That's what, I'm talking about. what are you talking about? You already know the answer to this question. No, like, like let's say they're telling you they're getting drunk, but then like they're also doing other shit when you're not looking. Well, I can't prevent that. I don't know. I'm just saying I would allow- But you're liable now. Congratulations, you're mm -hmm. liable. I would allow- You That's... allowed it under your house. But I didn't allow it. But you did. I allowed drinking. Underage drinking. And the eyes of the law. They're still gonna sue your yeah. ass. Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. Right, but I'm saying yeah. that I would be in trouble either way. But would if you? They were gonna would do you? It at our house, would you they get would with do the other I parents? Okay or not? Would you get with the other parents though and be like, "Is your mom cool with this?" All right. If your mom's cool with it, then all you. I would prefer that. Not like where they're like the parent of what the one kid is okay and I'm not but I'm not in yeah yeah now my kid's yeah. doing it with I'd be fucking pissed oh, at me that. too I would so definitely you, you would call the other parent and be like hey like so Taika wants to do doggy style are you cool with your daughter getting doggy style on my by Taika what are you talking about doggy style I said doggy style yeah are you cool with that I'm sorry we had a, we had a bad line yeah you're yeah. not funny no that we're talking with, about parents right and doing things like having sex at home drinking at home smoking crack at home the same conversation you've been having you'd down you'd be down to talk 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 about that stuff so. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why do you have your own echo? You, you be down talking about it? <laughs> He's saying if, if Taika wanted to have sex with a girl, would you be cool with yeah, calling the girl's Yeah, uh, Yeah, it would have to be. Yeah, I would be like, if I'm okay with it, right, right. then I don't think it's fair for me to make a decision on this child that does not belong to me. As long as they do it, though. That makes sense. As long as they, they, they go by the list of approved positions, which we'll have posted in a public area. <laughs> is pegging cool? Pegging is not cool in my house. And then we'll have to write, okay, Susie's mom is not okay with pegging. So, so when a girl puts on a strap on and oh, fucks the guy, right, okay. I'm like, and, I, and I'm gonna tell that girl, I'm gonna be like, I pull her aside the first time I meet her, and I'm like, you will not enter my son, you will not enter my son with, with a foreign object or with your fingers. You know? What if he wants it though? That's just not gonna happen in my house. That's fucked up. Not under my that's fucking roof. Up. So if he wants to get pegged, it has to be somewhere else. That's so close-minded. Yeah. Somewhere else. Have to do it behind a gas station or something like we all did when we were kids. Won't do it now though. Oh 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 oh. oh, oh. Have I had sex behind a gas station. I had lesbian. I had lesbian classmates, and then they would tell me that like they're so happy that their parents are fucking blind of how lesbian they are because they'll have sleepovers and fucking eat oh, each other cool. out all night. That's and cool. I'm all like, oh, I'm so turned on, but I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I, I didn't even <laughs> think of that. Yep. Yeah, because there's no co-ed sleepovers. <laughs> yeah, like, ah. And I they're was like, like, no boys, and they're like, don't worry, mom, we'll never have boys over. And they're like, you ready? <laughs> Hell yeah. Science, like, no yep. boys allowed. <laughs> and then they're like, we'll be eating each other out all night. And I'm like, damn. That's so funny. Can I watch? That's, That's incredible. Damn. All right, for our next story, there's a spider inside this 60 year old man's ear that created Ew! a web. How a big was the story. spider That's to the fit inside story. the ear hole? I will show you a what? video. You Did can't it? hear him moving in there? That's what? why he went to the doctor. Because he he said that he was hearing like drumming. <laughs> Ew! The, the fucking Ew. spiders playing bongo drum? Yeah, yeah, that was looking just <laughs> This is crazy. Here we go. I'm gonna show you guys the video. Ew! It made a web in there! It made a web! It's right there! Whoa! Holy fucking shit! How do they get that out? Oh my god. What do they do? On the brighter side, though, you won't have any type of cockroach crawling into your ear. You had their husband. What yeah, are you talking yeah. about? The doctor said that the most common things that he pulls out of people's ears yes. is cockroaches. That's that's no, fear. that's what I'm saying. The good, the no, good the, thing is the spider the won't eat it. Yeah. But he had never seen. Oh, that's a good defense. Yeah. He had never seen a <laughs> spider web in someone's ear ever. This took place in China, by the way. Of course. Wait, huh? Did the spider lay eggs? You said? No, web. Oh, okay. He's never seen a How web. How does he know that he didn't leave a web, leave eggs? 
Yeah, you don't know. I wonder how you get that out. Do you use that? You know that blue, uh, the, the, no, it's like a blue squeezy squeeze. No, they answer. Uh, and you put water in. They drown in. The, the spider out. Yeah, with a blue oh. squeezy squeeze. Oh. I don't know if they use the blue squeeze. You know what it is? Like it, a turkey it, it, it Yeah, like it creates like a thing. The blue squeezy squeeze. They flush the spider out. Yeah. You go like this and you squeeze like it. Like what babies use to get boogers out? Yeah, that blue yeah, squeezy yeah. squeeze. You flush the spider out. Ew, that was so gross. He said, the doctor also said that he's seen numerous cases of ladybirds, like other flying <laughs> insects, go into people's ears. Ladybirds? Does a doctor, I know that. My bad, no wait, yeah, it says ladybirds, but maybe they meant lady ladybugs. It sounded like a transgender term, that's right? why. I was like, ladybirds, what the hell is that? Spider crawled into a man's fucking head, like, oh. They did write ladybirds. Oh, but this is a UK article. Do they call ladybugs ladybirds? Because ladybirds kind of sounds like ladyboys. <gasps> it is! Oh, it's a ladybug. 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 Oh, they call them ladybirds? So cute. Does a doctor, I know that they're supposed to be professional, but does a doctor see a spider in somebody's head and go like, ooh. I would. <laughs> fuck yeah. I'd be the worst doctor with the worst <laughs> yeah. bedside manners. I'd be like, what the fuck, damn fool? You know you had a spider in there, dude? I'd be like, hey, yo, you guys gotta come in here. Everybody from 12, come in here. <laughs> There's a spider in there. I'd rather get here. that reaction than his. Because yours is you're fascinated and it's it's like interesting, but his, he's like so shocked and scared, like he doesn't know what to do. Dude, I like the spider is like, oh, this is a nice area. Let me just put my, put my home here. Oh my God, how about no one found this area yet? That's a pretty <laughs> stupid spider because it's gonna go hungry. Yeah, how many bugs are gonna fly in there? Yeah, Unless they that's eat, true. they feed off yeah, of the wax. Imagine what his ear has to smell uh, like to attract spiders. Uh, <laughs> do they have a sense of smell? Maybe that guy had so many bugs crawling in his ear that the spider was like, oh shit, I'm gonna post up here. <laughs> buffet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a buffet. We... Last story here. This woman in Las Vegas said that she... Oh, I love Las Vegas. <laughs> let's just talk about that. Okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> New story. What's your story? The woman in Las Vegas, she got the coupon to play the slot machine and she used it and she won a million dollars. But then she died because people were trying to take selfies with her. That's more interesting. Oh yeah, people took her out of the out of the water and she, took she selfies. She drowned. Yeah. yeah. That's what I heard. Well, this lady here, so she called an Uber. She was at uh, Park MGM. She went to clubbing with her friends, so she got an Uber. She saw that there was a car that matched the description of the Uber. She walked up and she was like, hey, are you here for Liz? And then the guy was like, yeah, get in. So she got in uh -oh. until they drove off to the real Uber driver call her. I was like, hey, where are you? <gasps> That's so scary. Yeah, so she was like, holy crap. Like a, the, a movie. Exactly. Thank How you. unaware I'm is taken. this woman? Was she a little bit drunk? Yeah. She was going out clubbing, so maybe oh she was drinking, God. but they don't mention that she was drinking. She here. has no street smart. I'm gonna show you guys a video of her interview. Well, if he's gonna kidnap me, what, you know, rape, kill me, trick, anything. She doesn't tell All you these thoughts are going to my head, and you're, you freeze, and I froze. The driver demanded Elizabeth's valuables okay, okay. and cell phone. Instead, she kept the phone, jumped from the car, and it sped up and got away. The driver's she still on the loose, and Elizabeth car. is angry. What was moving? The report made no mention yep. of kidnapping, only robbery. Yeah, so she was really upset with Good the girl. police. Fuck. Uh, Good job. Good Isn't that girl. kind of her fault, though? So if the car is just innocently parked there... No, he drove up to her. Oh, okay, okay. Like an Uber driver. I see. I thought uh, she walked up to a car and jumped in. No. He's like, well, I might as well be a criminal now. Give me all your stuff. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. That's still always a criminal's fault. Did he have a Even always. if they jumped into your always, car? Always, always, always a criminal's fault. Oh. You know what, though? Every time I walk up to an Uber, they, they, they say my name. They'll be like, yeah. Joe? And I'm like, yeah. But she said her name first. She yeah. did. I don't say that. Yeah. I wait till they fucking recognize me. And then they tell you like. Can you see it on their phone? I check the license yeah, plate. Yeah, I mean, that's like, the number you, one thing I do before I get into always. Uber. I always check the license plate. I always check the license plate. Okay, because when you get an Uber, you yeah, see the face of the driver and the type of car that they're driving. <laughs> I'm such you a good prey. Check the license. I'm a good plate. victim. What? I'm lucky to be alive. Jesus. No, but you don't even need to do that. There's a picture of the driver and their car. Yeah, yeah. I and the license. Look, I yeah. look at the driver's face and I look to make sure it's the driver's yeah. face, but I don't. I guess I just, I'm usually like playing a game on my phone and then I'll be yeah, you are. I got into the habit of yeah, checking the license plate because in Paris, the, all the Uber cars look identical. They all look Oh the yeah. So you have to check the license plate to make sure you're getting into the right one. They're black four-door sedans. Well, you're always with yeah. me, so I always check the license plate, so you're fine. Yeah. There we go. 
Yeah, so then uh, I need a man. Weight. <laughs> Good thing my man is protecting me. <laughs> so she suffered a head injury, a fractured wrist, and a badly broken ankle. Oh, yeah. damn. From Good for her. Hey, How about a head injury? Worth it. Huh? How about a head injury? I don't know, it just says a head injury. Most worth it hospital trip of your life. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and then... Well, how fast was the car moving? Was it going like 30? Sure. Well, you could see in the video. I'm not sure. Did he pull a gun on her? No. Dude, I don't know if I would be that brave. So she said that. You would. Yeah, probably if I got all this. You're nuts. You you would be nuts. What if he was an Uber driver and he fucked up and picked the wrong person up? No, he wasn't because... I'd definitely uh, scream. Yeah. yeah, so once she realized that she was in the wrong car, she ended up taking a photo of him from the side, but the flash went off. Huh. He was like, give me your wallet, give me your phone. Oh wait, before that, before the photo, she asked, she was like trying to, to be up. polite, like, yeah. hey, can you just drop me off right here? And she, he was like, no, and he kept driving. So he oh. wouldn't let her out of the car. And then she took the photo, and then he said, give me your wallet, give me your phone, give me everything you have. And then she gave him the wallet, she kept her phone, and she jumped out of the car, because the car was unlocked. Fuck. Was, did he have a gun? Not that I know. If you had pepper spray at the moment, would you blind his oh, ass? Yeah, hell because, yeah. Wait, but you're in a car. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like, yeah. aren't you, aren't oh, you yeah, like, that's that's I might, uh, you know. I, I put on my seatbelt and I pepper spray yeah. his ass. Yeah. yeah. I take off his fucking seatbelts. I'd be like, Ooh. I'd be like, press it, psh, fuck you. Not and if guys. the girls have heels and you're sitting in the back, you could start attacking smack the Man. fuck out of his face. Because I'm Uber always has like... little bottles of water. I would take a bottle of water uh, and I would put it to his lips so that he drowns. <laughs> Drink up, asshole. Isn't it way more dangerous to to be in, in the front, front yep. than in the back? So okay. he's like, how is he going to rob you like like this yeah. Yeah. while he's driving? Yeah. And he doesn't even have a gun, that's why. Yeah, because yeah. you could easily just like... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what I would yeah, do. Just give me your wallet, give me... He's like this, froze. give me your fucking wallet! <laughs> <laughs> she says she froze. But that's probably why he picks up uh, women, because... You know, they get scared. He, he assumes that they'll be scared. But then he didn't it. lock the door. That's like number one. Yeah. Exactly. So he's probably done this a million times, and then it's like it's probably easy. Yeah, but for Elizabeth though, she was really upset with the police report because they, or like the the way the police handled it, or the assigned to her case because they were just asking questions about her. Like, why were you out so late? Like, why oh, were you what alone? The fuck? What the hell? And then they also left out the fact that she got kidnapped. In the report, she. Whoa! What? They only put that she was robbed. That was it. Like, why are you wearing such a short dress, huh? Yeah, right. Exactly. Wearing a short dress, guys. Give well, more trouble. Why are you wearing a shirt that says "Rob me" on it? Yeah. To okay, I I get it because uh, this happened to my mom where she felt interrogated by the police when she was the victim, and she was a victim of a uh, identity theft. Mm. But. Um, what ends up happening is cops have to treat every single person as if they're both the criminal and the victim. But they didn't really ask her a lot about the driver. Right, I mean, I don't know what happened in this case, but then when I, uh, when my mom was telling me that, and then like the more, I guess I researched it, and I have friends who are officers and stuff, it's like, you don't know who's coming in to make a false report so they could get something out of it. You don't know if someone's coming in because you know they're trying to do insurance fraud or whatever. You don't know if someone's actually a victim or whatever. So they have to walk this line of, okay, is this person real or fake? So they have a set list of questions where it doesn't really appeal to the emotions and, and seem like they care. But there's also incompetence too, so it's it's but, a lot of variables. But wouldn't if she wanted, if the victim wanted to press charges, wouldn't they rate at least kidnapping if that's what she wanted to press? That's charges something for? that's weird. Yeah, that's something yeah. that's really weird. Yeah, because that's because they should write what the victim wants. The obvious to press. crime. Yeah. yeah. What if she walked up on some fake cops too? And they're just a bunch of security guards. are like, well, fuck, we'll just. Well, why are you wearing this short ass skirt? That's probably what happened. Yeah, it's just yeah. fake people all around. Yeah, that's pretty good. The worst day of this <laughs> woman's life. An ambulance is just a fucking white moving van. Yeah. That's it. She jumps in the back of it, fucking straps herself in. And then the real, and then the real cops are like, uh, like, so you, what'd you do exactly, pal? Like, yeah. Um, yeah, you walked up to some people and started talking to them. Why'd you talk to them? Yeah. Huh? Well, what were you thinking? Yeah, with that short skirt. Yeah. Just thought you'd talk to any police officers. Mm-hmm.